Hey, good morning everybody. Just a little video on um, feeding uh, plecos. What do we all feed our plecos? Um, here's some uh, little super reds I got recently. Look at that. A lot of people give zucchini and that mine seem to love. Cucumber. Peppermints, eh, they come out, but they tend to like to come out when uh, nobody's around. There's one hanging around there. Sorry, it's a bit messed up. I just fed the guppies, so. Uh, some more super reds. They were blank, uh, bringing in the same time the other ones were, the younger ones up there. Done a little bit of barter system with a lad I know, so that's good. Here's the uh, marbles, they're fair right into it. I always find, you know, you put a nice big helping of it in there and it it, uh, it gives the big pleco something to really chow down on. Um, I, I do drop it in here for the quarry cats and, the, and some shrimp to have a little bit of a munch on but uh, I don't over worry too much same here I've got uh, king tigers in here it's way back behind the there I can focus there's a king tiger there they're not so much on the veggies and that I find oh there's some there and um, I find they tend to like uh, blood worms more so than uh, cucumber and veggies but uh, oh, I still put it in there a little Julie eyes have a go is uh, Albino he's got one real dominant male in here I think I've got three uh, males and uh, one female and so I'm gonna have to do a swap somewhere with uh, somebody uh, anybody who's watching me videos out here but that's definitely the uh, the one with the main bristles that's definitely the uh, dominant one there and if we go down, oh, Dad's sitting in a cave, he's not happy. I'll show you in a minute. I've just uh, taken his, uh, all the fry out. So, there's Mum, she's, uh, well, technically it's actually his sister, that one. That one right there is Mum. Now, I've got a shortage of males in here, so I've kept a few back. And if you can believe it, every bloody one that keeps coming through is a female. So I've actually had to throw a uh, problem child uh, super red male in here with the commons. So, because he'll get overworked. And it's been bloody hard to try to get these big females out. So, yeah. Even though he's got a couple little bristles on that one. Your females, the bigger they get, they will get a few little bristles on their nose. But that's the main one in there. That's the common one in there. He's, uh, he's hiding away in there. Yeah, put put some kiwi, some cucumber in. For a lot of the other fish, they'll just nibble away at it. But if we go up here, some of the holding pens. Oh, these are some grow outs for next size up. Uh, Bristle nose they're shooting through there. But they get a nice helping of that in there. There's some Miranda goldfish growing out in there too, but probably only about ten left in there. They keep getting sold out of there. They'd probably be about five, six centimetres now. Um this is the the lot that I just uh got out just then. They're huddled in the corner. So you're not gonna see them for a few days. They'll stay under the air. Uh, in here, and this holding pen is just loaded with common pleco babies. I've also got another food up there that uh, I get from, uh, I, I did get some frenzy fish feeds. Um, I will show you in a minute. And remember, anybody's uh, looking for goldfish food or tropical food or pleco food, frenzy fish feed. The code is GHOST10 for you to get 10% off. Please jump on board with them, great Australian company. 
But uh, if I can do it one handed, this is the food here. Oh, sorry, great camera work again. I'll put it in there, a little bit in there. There it is there. It's like a pellet. Well, it is a pellet. But what it's got in it, I'm unsure. But uh, the uh, Plecos love it. And that's all I need to worry about. All right. Um, yeah, not a big video today. Bloody night shift tonight. It's stinking out of here in South Australia. So it's already uh, pretty bloody warm. And it's only about up past nine in the morning. So, all right, that's just a little bit on what I... Uh, feed my plecos like share comment and subscribe tell me what you um, feed your plecos I mean most people often tell me zucchini zucchini I must admit I've tried it and mine don't seem to like it nowhere near as much as they do the cucumber I'm unsure why but that's the way stir bites Good little characters, very, they don't, they're not shy or anything like that. But I find most of the stir boy, once you've had them for a while and they're used to you moving around, that they don't, uh, they don't bother with you at all. All right then, this is signing off. Uh, Jeff from Goldfish with Ghost Aquariums. We'll see you in the next one. Remember that uh, subscribe button, smash that, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.